So who was the girl at the end of the Kingdom Season 2? Well, thanks to the new special Kingdom Ashen of the North, we now know. Let's talk about it. So the origin of the resurrection plan is finally revealed in the special episode. Ashen is from the small tribe that has pretty much been on the outskirts or has been abandoned by the Joseon Kingdom. Tribes that like hover and gather around that area and it happens to be on the north side of Joseon. So at the end of season 2, Lee Chang is traveling up north to investigate the origins of the resurrection plant with So Bi and he happens upon an abandoned village where lo and behold the dead are back in his life. Cut to an abandoned house where Ashen turns around and reveals herself and the mystery around Ashen starts from there. So there's really one person or there's two people or actually a whole clan to freaking blame for this zombie apocalypse. It's the Heiwan clan first and foremost because yes. they're the ones responsible for the killing of the Jurchens in that forbidden forest and it's also Chiruk who happens to be in all seasons of Kingdom so far. We don't know exactly what the connection is, but we kind of think that he's against the Heiwon clan, but it was him that set forth the Pejua military camp or those those Jurchen soldiers against her village to begin with. And so her path for vengeance really is tied between those two. Now, I don't think the origin is as simple as Ashen because we do have the farmer's testimony that they went to China and that's the murals that Ashen found. But we do know that Ashen is responsible for or at least the outbreak that starts in the kingdom where her vengeance is unleashed upon the land. Coupled with the Heiwan Cho tribe with Cho Hak Ju trying to vie for control and taking the plant that was introduced to Lee Sung Gi, the physician, and using it on the king and making Lee Chang decapitate his own father and making him a, a treasonous traitor and all that nonsense starts. Yeah, so let's explain the ending here a little bit because some of you might be confused. I was a little confused. I needed to rewatch it just a little bit here and there. At the end, Ashen finally finds out what the entire truth was when it comes to who was behind the murder of her father and the massacre of her village. It wasn't what she thought it was. It wasn't really solely because of the Pejua military camp or the Jurchens across the lake. It was because at the end of that tiger hunt, Chiruk had kind of come up with this plan with the Jurchens and gave some sort of evidence that pointed everything to Ashen's father and so their village was massacred. But then she found out after little clues here and there when she was finally sent back to the military camp towards the end, finding her father with no legs, amputated, being treated as kind of like the treacherous or the traitor who betrayed the tribe. It was kind of a tragic scene. She had to kill him. And then on her way back, she finally put the clues and the pieces together. So on her way back to the military camp, she notices the feather, the color of the feather on the arrows of, well, I don't know, he was part of the Heiwan Cho clan members, whatnot. <laughs> he was kind of like sent to that far off place in punishment. And then into the office of Chiruk, she finds a propaganda letter finally revealing the truth of her village's massacre. And so, lo and behold, her vengeance cometh. So it was all just one giant scheme from Chiruk who set the Pejua on the village using a token that that village specifically made and reminded them of, hey, they used to be part of our tribe, they're mm -hmm. traitors. Yep. Bringing forth Ashen's vengeance towards Joseon, unleashing Ashen upon the world, upon the Pejua tribe at the very end there of the special where she's about to shoot mm -hmm. the leader of that tribe and of course on Joseon. And uh, we can at least assume that she is the start of the outbreak within that kingdom. Yeah, and then at the end of season two, we know that Chiruk is with Li Chang at the mm -hmm. end there. And so there hasn't been an announcement or it hasn't been officially announced that there's a season three, but can you imagine what happens in season three when Li Chang is like trying to find out what is going on? Why are there all these zombies? He meets up with Ashen who just has this like, has this vengeance, it's so justified for her. Like, I mean, just like what is gonna happen? She's gonna see Chiruk, Li Chang, and oh, that's gonna be a little crazy. I see, I see Lee Chang, you know, turning her. He's got the charisma, he's got the ability to sway people, even though he is, for the most part, looked at as a traitor for most of the first two seasons. And so mm -hmm. I think he's going to see where she's coming from. He believes that she's very much justified in her vengeance, but ultimately convinces her that this is the wrong method of achieving her justification. Or um, I mean, that's interesting. I feel like she's gone. She resurrected her entire, well, not her entire village, but her family at least, and kept them as zombies in that yeah. barn until she grew up and she kept coming back to feed them. And so I don't know where her sanity has gone, but like it was a very tragic story in terms of how her village and her family was massacred and her vengeance was justified. But I just, I, I don't know, like I can't see her like coming back 
to like humanity I, to save humanity believe, kind of thing. I want to believe that redemption still exists, or st or there's still a chance but, at redemption. In but her I don't think she needs redemption. Like her her path is vengeance. Her mission is vengeance, and like. Well, if they're doing a special, <laughs> if they're doing a special on this character, you can believe at least that the character development of mm -hmm. her would ultimately lead to I a was, redemption. I was happy at the end. Like just <laughs> destroy, like kill them all, girl, kill them all. Well, in any case, that'll do it for our uh, reaction and breakdown to. To, uh, the kingdom ashen of the north if you enjoyed our video please leave a like and subscribe for more leave a comment in the section below what did you think of this special and as always hit the bell notification and we'll see you next time